minus two minutes, 30 seconds and counting. The fuel cell ground supply of oxygen and hydrogen has been terminated and the vehicle is on its onboard supply. T minus two minutes, 15 seconds. The main engines have been gimbaled to their start position and the pressure on the liquid oxygen tank is at flight pressure. Coming up on the two minutes point. Test pilot's dream. It's a long Minus wait for him, but... Uh, the liquid nit hydrogen vent valve has been closed and flight pressurization underway. T-minus one minute, 50 seconds, and counting. The vehicle is truly on its the own. The oxygen vent arm is almost fully retracted. T-minus one minute, 40 seconds, and counting. It is alive. You can you can feel it, Frank. You, you just it's like that the, the bird is breathing. One minute thirty and it seconds, does have life ninety in seconds it. away from launch of STS two. They never do get routine. Minus one no. minute no. fifteen seconds and counting the liquid hydrogen big. tank is at flight pressure. We're only a minute or so away now. Coming up on the one minute point in our countdown. Everything going smoothly. <laughs> T minus one minute and counting. And we're really going to do it today. There's an electricity in the air here that was missing last Wednesday. T minus 50 seconds. The firing system for the ground suppression water is armed. Let's get we'll past 31 seconds. We'll go through 31 seconds like uh, Sherman went through. T minus 40 his ladder. seconds. Development flight instrument recorders are on. T minus 37 seconds. We're about just a few seconds away from switching control of launch to the computer station. We did it, Frank. We have on the way here. Control of the countdown now being conducted <coughs> by the launch sequences on board the orbiter. T minus 20 seconds and counting. The SRB hydraulic power units have started. The SRB nozzles have been moved to start position. Coming up on 10. T minus 10. Nine. We have go for main engine start. Baby, go. There we go. have main engine start. There go. One. We have ignition. We have ignition of the solid rocket boosters and liftoff. Liftoff of America's space shuttle, and the space shuttle has cleared the tower. Board guidance is converged unit 
program to Columbia is now steering for its precise window in space for main engine cutoff. Columbia now 35 nautical miles. Now they're utilizing all the fuel solely out of the external tank. Columbia now has That's two still engine alive, engine capability at That's the voice of Joe Engel. Mark three minutes eight seconds. Uh, Columbia now 46 nautical miles in altitude, 66 nautical miles downrange. Columbia's three main engines continue to run smoothly. Engel is truly really moving out now. Velocity now reading 6,700 feet per second. Get past the four-minute mark is an important point, too. Isn't four it? minutes is when they no longer have to abort back here in case yeah. they shut down. Then they're on their way. Mark three minutes, 30 seconds. Columbia now 52 nautical miles in altitude, 85 nautical miles downrange. Velocity now reading 7,000 feet per second. Return status check in the mission control by flight director Neil Hutchinson. Engel and Truly given a go to continue. How's that for a birthday present for Dick Truly? Yes, that's great. Coming up on four minutes into the mission now. March three minutes, 55 seconds. Columbia now 58 nautical miles altitude, 112 nautical miles down range. Velocity now reaching 7,900 feet per second. Four minutes, eight seconds, uh, standing by for a negative return and press day fuel call up by Captain Brandenstein. Negative return. All right, here's a playback now of the uh, launch moment of ignition. Uh, lift off. It doesn't waste any time. Oh, boy. Right up through the clouds, and then it emerged again. What a spectacular sight, of course, here is. Return to launch site. There's the roll, see? Four minutes, 35 seconds. Columbia now, 60. Columbia, just in your front ATO. 20 seconds. Four minutes, 44 seconds. Uh, for the first time, Columbia has uh, forward abort to orbit capability on two engines by throttling engines up to 140%. That means they can lose one of the three engines and still get in orbit by utilizing their fuel through the remaining two. Five minutes. Columbia now 68 nautical so, miles altitude, 189 nautical miles downrange. I'm going to show you the launch again from another uh, angle. There's that water flood to suppress right, the yes, turbulence. Shock wave. Yes. See it starting. And <laughs> Five minutes, 14 seconds. That call up by Captain Brandon Stein says that England is going to come out of there. Watch it come out. Two engines without throttling up Columbia's engine. Oh, boy. Mm. Just riding Five that wall of flames. Seconds. Columbia now 68 That's nautical miles altitude, 289 sort of nautical miles downrange. That's one I sort of wish I could do it again. <laughs> Well, what was the birthday card to uh, Dick Truly? Have a blast on your birthday. He certainly had one. <laughs> All right, we're at five minutes, 45 seconds into the uh, mission. And they're pressing on toward orbit. And that spacecraft has been there before. It is really a return to space. I'm going to show you the launch from a still another angle. As you might guess, we've got cameras scattered all over this place uh, down there. And everything is going just well in the mission while we're showing you the replays here. Is that majestic? Is that... Joe Engel says everything is looking good on board. See, that's a very good shot, giving you a good, good idea of just the tremendous thrust of power. We have about two more minutes before the uh, main engines uh, shut off, which achieves them a, a low orbit. Velocity now reading 14,900 feet per second. They're really hauling the mail today. Yes, they're going. The main engine sh uh, shut down at uh, 8 minutes and 40 seconds into the mission, and we're at 6 minutes and 50 seconds right now. This is animation now. We no longer had uh, no longer have the capability of showing you any live pictures. But we'll see them again next Tuesday when they come down. 7 minutes into the mission. 7 minutes, 5 seconds. Standing by now for single-engine press to Miko. They're about 75 miles high above the surface of the Earth, and they're still pitched upward, uh, gaining speed and gaining altitude at this time. And they're more than 800 miles away. Seconds. That report says that England truly can achieve uh, normal engine cutoff targets even if two engines go out.
the further they get, the, uh, the more redundancy, the, the safer they are. That's right. Well, the, the, the more sure they are getting in orbit. That's a real key here now. We have about another minute to go before those main engines do shut down, and then we'll separate from that big uh, storage or fuel tank, you see. Three Gs. They're feeling the force of three times the weight of gravity. But that's well within our ability to uh, to fly the spacecraft. Eight minutes. Suppose they've had a chance to look out the window yet? Oh, you betcha they are. I'd, I'd like to hear, hear their thoughts and words when I see that horizon. Columbia now 63 nautical miles in altitude, 645 nautical miles downrange. Velocity now reading 24,000 feet per second. 